we're going to be talking about these two new drones, what it's worth you buying or not, what you're getting, what you're not getting, what to expect. And then we're going to talk about the new kid on the block. Make sure you watch this video to the end so you know who the new kid on the block is. What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? It's your boy Tronix Factor here with some news media. But first, a cup of coffee. Yes, coffee before talkie. First, make sure you find out how you can get your Tronix Factor t-shirt. And if you don't want it, that's fine. I'll still try it anyway. Back to business, everyone. This is the Five Boroughs logo. If you don't know what this is and you're in New York City, you're living under a rock. Come out from under the rock and come fly with the Five Boroughs Facebook drone group. Anyway, let's get straight down to business. Two new drones. Two modified drones. The Mavic Pro. We all know that to be a fantastic drone. Come on, it's the best thing since sliced bread. Now, DJI is releasing a new drone called the Mavic Pro Premium. It's going to be available for pre-order right now, and it will be released in September. Basically, you're paying $100 more for this Platinum DJI Mavic Pro. What's the difference between the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro Platinum? What are you paying this extra hundred dollars more for? Whether you buy the bundle or you buy it just as a basic package, you will be paying an additional hundred dollars. You get a new color and it will have the Mavic Pro Platinum written on it. So you get a color upgrade. You, it's also going to be carrying a new ECU, a new electronic speed control. That means it has a new module that's going to be more efficient on how it operates when you press those sticks. As a result, it will fly smoother. It should be more efficient. It has new props on it. And that means approximately three minutes more of fly time. You can hang up there three minutes more and make sure you get that shot that you want so guys if this means anything to you three more minutes hundred bucks to get three more minutes new upgraded ECU three more minutes of flight time and new props that's basically it as a result of these new props the drone is also supposed to be quieter all of this is left to be seen but for a hundred dollars more is it worth your money or not my opinion if you own a mavic pro no fly your mavic pro and enjoy your mavic pro because it's a phenomenal drone it's the best thing since sliced bread and it's not worth selling to upgrade to a platinum however if you were sitting on the fence and you were about to make that decision, and you're getting ready to purchase a Mavic Pro, put that $100 in and get the Platinum. That's my tip for you, because you want the best. $100 more, you get three more minutes. Every minute counts, guys. Your drone is more quiet. It has new props, a new speed control system. The entire drone will be a little bit more efficient. I say go for it. For a hundred bucks more and you're going to buy a Mavic, get the Platinum. If you already own a Mavic, the Platinum is not that big of an upgrade worth purchasing a second drone or worth selling your Mavic Pro to upgrade to the Platinum. It's not that really that much of a big of a deal. It's not a brand new drone. It's not something new on the market. So again, I strongly recommend if you don't own a Mavic, you're thinking about buying one, go straight for the Platinum. If you own a Mavic Pro and you're thinking about the Platinum, it's not that much to talk about that you should be spending that extra hundred dollars. Enjoy your Mavic Pro. You have nothing to worry about. They're both great drones. Moving on. Drone number two, the Phantom 4 Obsidian. 
what is the game changer about this drone? And that's what's going to take us into our next segment, which is the new kid on the block. I believe that this obsidian was inspired by the new kid on the block, and we'll come to that in a moment. But let's talk about this new Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian drone. What are you getting? What are you getting? Same price, you're not paying more like the, the new Mavic. Same cost as the existing Phantom 4 Pro. You're getting a matte black silverish gray magnesium electroplated anti-fingerprint gimbal. That sounds like some sophisticated stuff. It's a better manu manufacturer gimbal, better quality, and it's supposed to be able to resist fingerprints, and it's electromagnesium plated. It's better build quality. Basically, same camera, same basic drone. It's got a nice matte gray color. That's basically it. And the price is about the same. And that's basically it. They haven't even given a release date yet, or they haven't even started taking pre-orders yet for this new one. So it's basically the same Phantom 4 Pro that you can get right now in white. The only difference is nice matte black, gray, black, whatever you want to call it, finish. A nice electroplated fingerprint resistant gimbal. Same camera, same everything, and the same price. Now stop and think about it. DJI has never, ever, ever released a black drone all their drones have been white all of a sudden here comes this black drone and i'm going to tell you why but first there's a new kid on the block guys ladies and gentlemen please help me welcome the new bugs mjx m one drone guys this drone is scheduled to be released in november first anticipated in january now scheduled for november to be released this drone will compete with the p4 except i'll get to you the goodies let me list you some of these features of this new drone the new bugs m1 will have a seven mile radius out the box. It's supposed to go, rumor is, it's going seven miles out the box. Everything that the P4 Pro can do, this drone is expected to do the exact same thing, except it's supposed to retail for under $700, for 600 and something, US dollars. That's a major game changer because if a company like MGX, who's been in the RC industry, let's face it, longer than Beijing Innovations, DJI, they've been out longer. They're tried, they're tested, they're proven. The Bugs drone is the number one selling drone in the world, like it or not. That's the facts. And they're coming out with a drone, build quality, if you've ever seen a Bugs drone, it's build quality is fantastic, it's exceptional. It flies for 25 minutes already, they've got all the nuts, the bolts and everything figured out. All they need to do now is slap that camera on and put this thing to work. Seven miles, guys, seven miles, 600 and something bucks. It's like having a P4 for 600 and something bucks. Now, this is the reason that I believe that DJI decided to go with this obsidian gray color drone because they know that the Bugs drone is coming out in a very similar color. And they knew that the Bugs pushed their production date from January to November, so they know it's coming. And it's coming at let's face it less than half the price of a phantom 4 pro you get seven miles range you get a 4k camera you can basically do everything including 30 minutes flight time that the, the, the 
Phantom 4 Pro can do for 600 and something bucks. Guys, this is a game changer. This is going to change the whole market. Everyone will be able to experience Phantom 4 Pro like photography, videography, cinematography for 600 bucks. Like, aren't you kidding me? Guys, look out. You heard it first here from your boy Drone X Factor that the Bugs MJX1 M1 is coming. Like it or not, it's coming for DJI. And this might be the second major top competitor that I've been looking for. Where there's Coke, there's Pepsi. Where there's Lamborghini, there's Ferrari. Now, where there's DJI, will it be Bugs? That's left to be seen. But come November, I am really looking forward to see what the number one selling drone company in the world will produce at a cost that is wow mind-blowing and if they can deliver what the DJI Phantom 4 Pro can do at that price guys you tell me will you get the bugs will you get the M1 come November Tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me what you think about the new Mavic Pro Platinum Edition. Would you pay $100 for it? Would you advise anyone to pay $100 more for it? What do you think in general? Are you happy with these new releases? Were you expecting a brand new drone? Is it even time for a brand new drone? List your comments below. Let me know what you think. And let me know what you think about this whole Obsidian. Look at the timing of the Obsidian. When the Bugs drone pictures, the M1, has been leaked. Now look at DJI with their matte gray finish. I personally like the color. And I'm always a, f a fan of the Phantom 4 Pro because it's a game changer. But come on, if Bugs can actually pull this off, tell me in the comment section what you guys think. This is your boy Tronix Factor and I've delivered the news and now I've gotta be flying out.